Another popular birth control method is the IUD. Some people call them IUS, same thing. Uh, I say IUD because I'm a little bit older. But in any case, the IUD is a little T-shaped device that goes in the uterus. So here's an example of an IUD. This is, uh, it's not the real thing, but this is an idea of what the Mirena IUD looks like. This is the Paragard IUD. Um, again, a little T-shaped device that goes inside the uterus. And the idea is that this is placed into the uterus and it stays there and provides birth control. The primary mechanism of action of the IUD is it keeps the sperm from being able to get to where the ovary is. There is uh, some misconceptions that the IUD um, causes abortions. Really not true. The, really the primary method of IUDs is it inhibits the sperm from being able to get through the uterus up to the fallopian tube to where the egg is. And in fact, they did a study uh, looking at women that had IUDs and they compared the menstrual fluid and looked at fertilized eggs that had been passed, and they found that there was really no difference between um, uh, loss of fertilized eggs between women with IUDs and women that either didn't have birth control or were on birth control pills. So this is not an abortifacient. It doesn't cause abortions. It's not the way it works. So just so you know that, because for some people that's important. There's two types of IUDs, the Mirena um, and the Paragard. They're really different products in that the Mirena has a little bit of hormone on it, a little bit of progesterone, not so much that it gets into your blood system and causes side effects, but it acts on the lining of the uterus and decreases the amount of bleeding so that you tend to have much lighter periods and less crampy periods on the Mirena IUD. And in fact, some people use these um, for women that have heavy periods to treat the heavy periods in the first place. For many women, after having the Mirena IUD for a while, their periods will stop completely. Most people like this, but occasionally it kind of makes people uncomfortable. So if you, don't, if you think that would drive you crazy not to get a period every month, this may not be the product for you. The Paragard IUD has no hormone whatsoever. And so if you're worried about hormones, this is a product that you might consider because there's no hormone in it at all. It's really, um, there's little copper rings uh, on the IUD and that's what really makes the product work. The Paragard is good for 10 years. However, it does tend to make the periods a little bit heavier and more crampy. That's sort of the downside of the Paragard compared to the Mirena. The upside is there's no exposure to hormone. Both of them are placed in the vagina in the office. And so if this is, this is a sort of cartoon of the uterus. This would be the vagina. The way these are inserted is there's a little inserter that pushes it up through the vagina and places it into the right place in the uterus. This is sort of a cartoon of the Mirena. This is the Paragard. The insertion can be crampy and a little bit painful. In women that have never had babies before, it can be quite uncomfortable. And so although it's popular to recommend these for everyone, I personally don't recommend these for women that haven't had children yet. Because number one, it's pretty painful going in and it has a higher expulsion rate. If the uterus cramps down, it can push the IUD out. Once that happens, you no longer have birth control. And so if you don't notice it, let's say it gets tangled in a tampon or something, you may not know that it's out and then you can get pregnant. So that is a much higher expulsion rate in women that haven't had children before. So it's, it's something that I don't personally recommend, although it's not wrong if you do um, get an IUD and you haven't had children, as long as you understand that. The other thing with the IUD is that if you're exposed to a sexually transmitted disease, it's really not safe for you to have an IUD. So these are great for people that are in sort of long-standing monogamous relationships where you don't have to really worry about getting gonorrhea or chlamydia or something like that. If you do, it can make you very ill, um, and I have had women that I've had to put in the intensive care unit that have gotten that sick um, from infections related to the IUD. But as long as that's not a, a concern, um, the IUD is a very safe uh, and effective method, and people really, really like it. Uh, I like to bring people back a month after I place it to make sure the string is in the right place, and then after that, you just need your usual annual follow-up.